Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, so in this video, we are going to talk about encapsulation. So, file well is from abstraction video. So, I will put the link for that abstraction video tutorial. Okay. So, encapsulation means that combining data and member to a single unit and also prohibit access from data from that particular unit. So, let us say we do have this account class. So, this one is from our video from instruction. So, you just need to check that video for this particular, you know, let and get and this class instance. Anyway, so we do have these two member account holder name and current balance, right? And you cannot access this data without having an instance of this account class, right? Also, let's say for now, if you just try to assign this that, okay, current balance is minus 2500. Okay? So, you don't have enough money to withdraw, but this data is accepted because we don't have any validation in this section that, okay, this current balance cannot be negative number you know you cannot assign a current balance as a negative number so we don't have that validation in this section but basically you cannot access this account holder name and current balance after this class because these are private field but you can access those using this public property okay so like account holder name so you can set this public property now the issue is that sometimes we need to only show that you know there are some read only data so let's say for this minimum balance so here it is constant and as you can see that this one is not accessible outside of this class even if we have any instance because we don't have any data or setter for this one and also this one is a constant we can make this just a private field in that case it will not be available outside of this particular class so if you do have an instance of this class and if you do have public property or accessor in that case you can access this so right now this one is not accessible outside of this class so this is hiding the data or encapsulating a data which is only available to this particular class now let's say i can just make this as read only okay that user can get that how much minimum balance he needs to keep so in that case i can just make this okay private constraint minimum balance is double let's say i can just make one property so i can just say that okay minimum balance is equals to this minimum balance Now, let's say, say the document okay, misses box current account dot minimum balance. Now, I get this data that minimum balance is 1000, but you cannot set this minimum balance. Let's say if I try to do this, that okay, I'll set the minimum balance to let's say 2000 or something. And if I run this, it's saying that cannot assign to read-only property. That means this minimum balance is only is a read-only property. Okay, there is no setter, so you cannot set the value for this minimum balance. So this is read-only property. This is how we are prohibiting outside of this you know class code to add any number in this particular field variable. Okay, so minimum balance there could be some write only properties so you can only write on those particular properties in some cases you may have some internal data which you don't want to set or get outside of that particular class let's say daily withdrawal limit okay, this is also an instance variable i can just make this as an instance variable and i can just keep the number or data inside of this class and i will not expose this one using getter or setter so in that case that will be you know internal data so you can 
hide those data or encapsulate those data into that class and outside of this class they can access if there is any getter or setter so if they need to set the data they can use the setter if they need to get the data they can use the getter there could be read only data there could be write only data there could be internal data which is not readable or writable outside of this class you can modify that inside of that class okay also like this constant so we can have some data which is you know read only you can have some more data which is read only that is being calculated okay so that's this encapsulation we can also have validation so let's say this current balance as i said earlier that okay we don't want to put negative balance into this current balance okay so we do have this setter right so current balance this one so we can just have some validation okay that if this current balance is less than zero then cannot be negative exit property and if so here i am just saying that okay if this current balance is negative then don't set this negative balance to this current balance okay so if i run this now let you have this one current balance cannot be negative so it's pop up this masses and this is 1000 so let's say instead of 1000 if i just check this current balance so you'll see that okay this one is zero okay because we don't set the value yet so let's say if i set a positive number first let's say 1000 now if i run this again now you can see this current balance cannot be negative for the next one but it is it is showing that 1000 because in this part it set 1000 because that is positive number and in this one as it is negative number so it doesn't set that value so that's how we can also have validation that okay if we want to set the value or not so this is how we achieve this data validation on this particular field in instance so basically this encapsulation is that you are just hiding data or encapsulating all the data into a single unit and only giving the you know necessary data outside of this class so if some of them is only read only then you are just giving that read only access if it's uh, write only then you are giving a write only access if it's internal then you are not giving any read only or write only access outside of that class code or you know user so that's it if you have any question or suggestion feel free to comment in this video thank you have a good day